everybody's cap. So I'm out here at the uh, Purple Heart Hunting Program's uh, base camp editing photos. The last hunter, well, disabled veteran, uh, just got a uh, got a moose, so they're cleaning it right now, and hopefully it'll be back soon, so I can get some shots of that. Uh, I've been out here for a couple days now, just kind of helping them out, uh, gaining shots where I can. There's other people out here, professional photographers, um, social media influencers, and I kind of just weasel my way out here, so I've been trying to do the best I can. Uh, focus on my specialty, which is still photography. As you can tell with my shaky hands and everything else with my phone. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. Uh, great group of guys. Uh, this is this is a good program. It gets uh, veterans who are 100% disabled and have Purple Heart uh, out to actually go hunt and uh, yeah, be able to introduce stuff in Alaska. And I've talked to a couple of them and they've even said like this is the only chance they'll get to come out here and do this kind of thing. And I mean, it's kind of good that they get to do this and get to explore. I, I do stuff like this before, just not just with uh, Purple Heart. This is my first time doing the Purple Heart. But uh, I do things all the time, like with scouts and everything. I try to uh, do the high adventure program for the scouts, where scouts can actually come out here and hike for a couple of weeks just in Alaska. Or even if you're not that experienced, you can just go to the summer camp, uh, which is in July for a week and camp in Alaska. So. There are opportunities to come out here for different organizations. Uh, just kind of want to throw that out there. And uh, yeah, just it's 11.38. I'm waiting for them to come back. And I'm rambling as I'm working on photos, uh, literally by a uh, fuel lantern. And yeah, life is awesome. Well, until next time, this is Cap. And like always, laters.